Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So since the last video, we got a lot more information about this upcoming support memories slash support item memories that's going to be dropping on JP for their 6th anniversary. And of course, I wanted to share this info with you guys. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to Hydros on Twitter, as well as DBZ Carry for posting all the information, as well as some animations, which we'll take a look at in a second. All right, so yeah, first things first, there are four different support memories that we know about in the game right now. There's this Frieza one, there's this Goku one, there's this Whis one, and also this Icarus one. And they each have their own unique animations and their own unique effects. So you can kind of think of these as conditional support items with animations like you have to meet a certain condition to use them like you know you have to be past a certain amount of turns or below a certain amount of hp and so on and so forth now on the surface that might seem kind of lame right like you might be thinking it's like a normal support item but there's a condition so it's harder to use and there's a nice animation but it's not really necessary right and that's what i thought at first i'm like yo why do we need this it feels like a gimmick, but it turns out that the major difference between these items and the normal support items is that these don't take up the traditional 4 slots, the original 4 support item slots. So you can still have your 4 support items like, you know, Ghost Usher or, you know, Android 8, Princess Snake, Nurse Chi Chi, uh, Tabura Cookie, whatever, and also have your support memory item as well. So it's kind of like an extra effect or an extra boost that you wouldn't have been able to get otherwise before this update. So as you can imagine, this is something that can make a huge difference in harder modes in the game, like Super Bad Road, um, Extreme Super Bad Road, LGE, so on and so forth, especially for newer players, especially for people who are currently struggling with those modes. Like this one extra effect could make all the difference, right? So uh, yeah, guys, there are four items we know about right now, Whis, Goku, Icarus, and Frieza. And here are their effects. So for the Angry Frieza, the effect is for one turn, when there are super enemies, super type enemies, attack plus 15% for all allies once only. And then for this Goku item, it's pull out the tail. For one turn, when there are polar enemies, and I'm assuming that means extreme, attack plus 15% for all super allies once only. And then for this Whis one, first Tempura, after the third turn from start of battle, key for all allies, plus three. And he forgot the once only, but it only applies for one turn. And then finally for this Icarus, fly higher dragon, when HP is 70% or less for one turn, attack and defense plus 10% for all allies, once only. So those are the items, and those are the effects. And in terms of how you can get these items, Let's pop over to uh, DBZ Carry's page. So as you guys can see, there are these like movie reels that are color coded. That you can buy in the Baba Shop for Baba Points, and then you can use these uh, reels or these films to purchase the support memories in a separate section, which is currently not available, or at least these actual items are not available in the game yet. But you use the you know movie films you buy in the Baba Shop to then purchase the support memories, and each one corresponds to a different item, right? So the yellow films are for the Frieza item right now, the blue films are for the Goku item, the orange films are for the Whis item, and the green films are for the Icarus item, and there's also the red film, and there's not a corresponding item yet, so you can assume that in the future there will be a lot more of these, but these are just the four that we're starting with. And now, Let's take a quick look at these animations. Now, I heard that these clips were actually a huge pain in the ass to put together. So uh, once again, thank you to DBC Carry for providing this for us. All right, so I think we're starting here with the Frieza one. Let me just turn down the volume a little bit so my ears don't bleed. And uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That is the Frieza animation. Um, they're essentially like moments or scenes from the anime um, that are, I guess, considered iconic, right? So the clip plays and then you get your effect 
and you might be thinking, yo, this could get really, really annoying, right? Because like, you don't want to watch the same animation for like a little boost every single time. But thankfully, I did notice that in the top right corner, there is a skip button for each of these. So you're able to skip the animation instead of watching it, you know, every single time you use the item, which is an awesome feature that I think should actually be applied to just like regular super attack animations. But you know what? That's a different conversation for a different day. So that is the Frieza one. And now let's take a look at the Whis one, which I think might actually be my favorite from this current batch. <laughs> oh man, yo, Weiss's faces get me every time. Uh, let's just watch that one more time to give you guys a chance to, you know, really take it in. Okay, so we get the tempura dish, and then Whis eats one, makes some faces, really enjoys himself, and then we get our key boost. So yeah, that is the Whis item. And next up, we've got the Goku one. And honestly, I remember this moment from the show, right? And it makes me pretty uncomfortable. You guys will see why. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but that is definitely one that I'll be skipping 99.9% .9 of the time. Like, I might watch it the first time, just for the novelty, but after that, I do not want to see this scene, you know, multiple times, you know? It's just, I don't know, it makes me uncomfortable. It's, it, it honestly hurts me to, to watch, so... <laughs> yeah, no, let's not repeat that again. And finally, we have the Icarus one. Uh, let me pause this real quick and start from the beginning. And there you go, you know, as expected, super wholesome, super nice animation. And uh, yeah, these are pretty clean, you know, these are like quality animations. It's just when I first saw you know, what they did, I was like, why would I want to use these items that take more time to activate and also have conditions, right? But then once you realize that it's not actually part of the original four slots, it has its own separate section, you're like, okay, so it's just a bonus effect that we really would not have been able to get without the support memories. It essentially is going to help a lot of people get through these harder stages. Like, I think that, you know, the inclusion of one of these items will actually be the difference between a clear and a fail for you know some people's super bad road runs right so i think overall it's a positive i'm uh, excited for some other animations some new items to come out and you guys might be thinking some people might think like okay this is cool but why didn't they just give us like the additional two slots for support items right like we've had four out of six slots available this entire time and instead of giving us all six slots they just gave us these new support memories but if you think about it okay if they gave us six support item slots some of these modes would just be way too damn easy right like four item slots i think is perfect for the difficulty level of like the events in the game right now if they gave us six support items and we were able to get two additional you know damage reduction items or two additional orb changing items nuking items or two additional healing items i think it just would have made a lot of these events way too easy or at least a lot easier than you know bandai or akatsuki wanted them to be so i think that was their you know thought process their mindset when they decided to not give us the additional two support item slots and rather just gave us these uh, support memories and i think it's kind of cool i mean i still feel like it's a little bit gimmicky but i really don't mind it okay so that is everything we know about the support memories at this moment in time and uh, oh one last thing uh, let's move over to marketing 3's page so we do have a little bit more information about the revival skills which are going to be a new mechanic for certain units um, with the anniversary right so he says revival skills are counters with extra steps 
Transformations trigger when conditions are met during gameplay instead of during standby like Great Ape slash Exchange slash Active Skills. I expect it would skip the rest of the turn when it triggers. So instead of, you know, like waiting for the super attack animations to play out and then happening like a Great Ape transformation we have right now or a traditional transformation or an Active Skill, these Revival Skill effects will trigger during the turn. So like when you're being attacked or when you're attacking an enemy, that's when you can expect these Revival Skills trigger. Now it's not a lot to go off of, but it is some new information, some new uh, insight into how these work. So of course, I had to share it with you guys. And uh, that's it guys. That's going to be today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the support item memories or these uh, support memories. I don't think it's like super revolutionary or game changing, but it is definitely going to make a difference and uh, it's going to help a lot of people get through some of these harder events. So uh, that's always a positive. And that's it. That's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.